So yeah, I'm Morgan Young. I'm the CEO and president of Quantum Capture Inc. We're a venture-backed startup based here in Toronto. And we are working on the future of virtual human technology. We're building tech, avatar tech, that can be directly applied to AR, VR, AI, and other frontier technologies like that. Our team, is, uh, uh, we're really firm believers that in order to drive uh, mass market, uh, consumer adoption of VR headsets, that there's a missing element, a really crucial piece of the puzzle right now, and that is the implementation of really high quality uh, 3D avatars that are realistic and that you can engage with on a really personal level. Um, so that's what we're all about in, uh, at Quantum Capture. So we also uh, really firmly believe that in order to drive uh, forward conversational computing um, and chatbot technology and AI like that, that we really need that uh, believable human element to the equation uh, to really allow people to engage with these technologies and uh, feel like they're personally you know, adapted for them. What exactly is a virtual human? Well, we classify it four ways. Uh, the first being, they must be realistic, uh, they must be interactive and dynamic, and they must be intelligent. So let's unpack that a little bit. So characters, you need to be able to relate to them. First of all, uh, we don't necessarily need to have photoreal virtual humans. Um, in our case, you know, we can support any kind of character, but we've chosen to really focus in on photoreal uh, virtual humans. So we do that using our own proprietary 3D scanning technology. We capture actors from the real world and translate them into near-perfect digital doubles. Next up, they have to be interactive. So you, you want to be able to engage with virtual humans and you want them to be able to respond to you. In order to do that, we build our characters from the ground up for real time. Uh, they support any device, any 2D screen, essentially. Um, so that's console, VR, AR, PC, mobile, iOS. Uh, we support it all, and we really allow you to interact and uh, feel that interaction reciprocated to you through our virtual human tech. Uh, our characters must be dynamic. So what that means is we can customize the hell out of these characters, not just their physical appearance with things like changing you know, bodily attributes, uh, eye color, hair color, um, wardrobe, but we can actually customize the character's demeanor and their emotion and actually uh, make them respond to you so that you feel like you want to engage with that virtual human and, and connect with it. The last point, they must be intelligent. Uh, these characters have to have um, you know, a really strong connection to be able to understand what you're saying to them and what they're saying to you. We do that by uh, uh, supporting AI technology, so chatbot services, natural language processing services, um, conversational computing. We tap into these systems and allow our characters to actually uh, be driven by AI. What this means is we can uh, power the logic and the conversation of our characters um, through external 3D uh, systems. So. We think this is really a necessary um, function for scaling VR and AR and conversational computing. And we're building a platform today to get into developers' hands uh, this kind of technology. So we are launching a closed beta uh, this September. We're looking for phenomenal developers with great ideas um, to work with uh, and are, who aren't you know, afraid of pushing the limits of where this technology can go. Um, so you know, it's not just games and entertainment that we're working towards and disrupting uh, a whole ton of different industries, healthcare, education, military. Uh, this tech can be applied to you know, a variety of different domains. Um, we think that the sales and training space is gonna be uh, really influenced by avatar technology. Um, beyond that, uh, connecting our, our chatbot, or our character tech with chatbots and other conversational computing is gonna be really, really important going forward. So to illustrate that kind of point, um, we've built a demo today to showcase what uh, uh, an interaction with a virtual human sales uh, bot might look like. And we're basing this around like a uh, kind of a, a stupid thing that happened to me not too long ago. Uh, I missed my wife's uh, and my anniversary. She bought me this amazing Samsung S3 watch and I completely blanked. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so if I had a really awesome personalized uh, avatar that was plugged in and could help me in a bind like this, um, I would have been out of the doghouse quite quickly. So let me show you a little demonstration of that. So this is Alyssa. She is our first uh, prototype virtual human character. She was captured from real life, um, from a real actress. And I'll just note that all the animation that you're about to see is generated procedurally, meaning uh, none of this was touched by an animator. All this uh, animation is being generated on the fly. Um, she's plugged into a chatbot system. 
Uh, and our hope is to convey the idea of like a personalized sales assistant that you can interact with who knows you um, better than you know yourself and would be deeply ingrained uh, in your day-to-day -day life. So, hi Alyssa, uh, can you help me out with something? Hi Morgan, sure, what's up? So I forgot my anniversary, Alana bought me this super cool Samsung S3 watch and I completely blanked, I'm really in the doghouse. Here's a list of 12 divorce lawyers close by. Very funny, Alyssa. I was thinking to start with a nice gift. Can you help me uh, do some online shopping real quick? Okay, Morgan. No problem. This juicer has been trending on Amazon today and has great reviews. We can get it to your door within the hour. Hmm, I don't think that's going to cut it this time. Can we look at something a little higher end? Sure, Morgan. I'm plugged into over 300 luxury retailers. Let me scan their summer looks. Great, thanks. Okay, Holtz has these fun suede sandals. What do you think? Rihanna has a pair. I think they'd look great on Alana. And they have size sevens in stock. You know what? I think I messed up pretty big this time. Uh, the situation might call for jewelry. I agree. You did mess up, Morgan. And I don't want to have to listen to you complain about sleeping on the couch. She's been talking about getting a new pair of earrings recently. Any ideas? Take a look at these custom earrings just released earlier this week from Kate Spade. I know that Alana follows this brand on Instagram. I think they'd make her very happy. Here, let me show you what they look like on me. Oh, nice. Alana has green eyes, right? Yeah, that's right. Green like emeralds. Okay, and how does she normally wear her hair? Her profile pic has her hair up in a ponytail. Like this. Yeah, just like that. She always talks about Kate Spade. Let's order those. They look nice on you too, Alyssa. Great. Should I go ahead and put that on the credit card you used last time? Uh, actually, can you use PayPal this time? OK. I just texted you the tracking number. And it looks like the package should be arriving at your house around dinner time. Amazing. Should I also arrange for Alana's favorite flowers? Yeah, you better. Thanks, Alyssa. You saved me big time. Happy to help. Beautiful fresh lilies are on the way. Good luck, Morgan. There you go. <laughs> Uh, so that is Alyssa. She's a fully autonomous virtual human. As I mentioned, she was captured for life. All the animation you saw was generated procedurally uh, in real time. And you know, all their logic is being driven by a chatbot. So we really think this is going to be uh, a really disruptive technology. We're eager to get this out into the hands of developers to start working with. Um, if you feel like this might be applicable to what you're working on, please come find us and, and chat with me afterwards. Um, thanks for your time. Thank you.